Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and a good Monday morning to you. I hope you have your coffee because today we're going to be dealing with another insane story involving Ubisoft. I feel like I'm on the holodeck in Star Trek, but the holodeck program is just set to simulate a reality where interesting things happen about Ubisoft that are absurd. So over the weekend, various denizens of the internet, including the very balding and very famous streamer Asmongold, began speculating that the comments on the latest Assassin's Creed Shadows trailer looked suspicious. We've got one right here. Attractive female, attractive female, and then again, attractive female, attractive female, attractive female. With multiple comments all praising the game, left by commenters, all women, with attractive photos, with a first name, last name, number combo, and, um... And, of course, the most surprising thing to see on the internet in 2024, no OF advertisement. I hadn't released a video on this yet because I was still uncertain how things were going to play out and I wanted to kind of do a full story for you when I did. And also, I dared take a day off. I've been uploading six days a week now on this channel and it's lovely to have so many new subscribers and to make videos for you almost daily. Uh, if you want videos like that, like and subscribe. But let's quickly get into the meat and bones of the story here. So, as of the recording of this video on Monday the 16th of September, all of those comments have now been deleted and even mainstream outlets have now picked up the story asking, WTF just happened? And without bearing the lead, I can give you the answer pretty quickly. Nobody has any darn idea. No one knows what just happened. So for the remainder of this video, I'm gonna be operating here in the dark and giving you my suspicions on who the suspects in this case might be. So let's put on our detective hat, make a cup of tea, and try and sort out who the suspects in this case could be. Well, let's start with number one. It's obviously, it could be Ubisoft botting their own trailers, given their desperate financial situation, which I've covered recently in videos on this channel. They could be so desperate to try and bump their stock price back up from its currently horrible low that they are trying to generate fake hype around the game. This certainly would not be the first time this has happened, involving various PC game developers or game developers at large. However, at the moment, part of me is hesitating to accept this idea. And the main reason is, A, Ubisoft have never been openly caught for it before. It doesn't mean they haven't done it, but they're not one of those more dodgy companies ran out of, say, Eastern Europe that is known for using bots to promote things. Secondly, the attempt is so humiliatingly brazen that I can't believe they would do it and not get caught. Am I naive? Is it just obviously Ubisoft and this video is pointless? I don't think so. My personal take is that it's a kind of 50% chance that it's Ubisoft and there's a remaining 50% chance that it's some other actor. The other obvious group, if you've ever hung around on places like the Reddit drama subreddit or Reddit gaming or just Reddit in general, is that there are quite a few people on Reddit, rightly or wrongly, I'm not going to comment on that. I'm just trying to give people my best guess on the facts. These people are uh, very much on one side of the Assassin's Creed drama and feel that the uh, current Assassin's Creed drama is entirely motivated by bigotry. And you could see activists on that side doing something like this as a campaign to stand up to bigotry. I think it's unlikely, but it wouldn't be unheard of that kind of, of activism based by bots. Uh, happens on Twitter, both in left-wing and right-wing circles all of the time. The other suspect is me. Uh, and by me, I mean YouTubers in general. This is just such a ridiculous story, and it's so perfectly timed with the kind of content that uh, a lot of content creators have been covering at the moment. You know, I kind of wonder. I, I, Is it possible? This is just so ridiculous with everything that's been happening, with everything we've been covering lately about Ubisoft, for them to do this so brazenly. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? As an extension of that, it's also possible that there are some people that have been critical of Ubisoft that are doing this now to maybe raise even more criticism of the company. We've had a lot of eyes on Ubisoft share price constantly, and it wouldn't be beyond the pale for online trolls to do this to tank the company's stock further for laughs. And this gets us to the final suspect, and the one which I think is 
possibly the most likely, even though on the balance of probabilities, I can't rationally say that, but it's the one that in my George W. Bush style, I think they've got weapons of mass destruction stomach, I suspect might be true. And then it, it could have to do, I'm going to be careful how I word this, it could have to do with other companies that might benefit from Ubisoft's share price going down even further. That seems like a possibility because of the level of financial speculation at the moment about this giant company that owns these hugely, hugely valuable IPs and the fact that there is now a drama going on about the company's share price, whether the company is going to be bought out and taken over and stay public or whether it's going to be bought out and go private. The timing to me just seems too much. That too suspicious for that not to be part of it. If you want more videos on that, just subscribe and check out my channel. I think I've got three videos on this now, kind of building up the narrative. But the uh, the very quick recap is, is that uh, some of the minority shareholders in the company, because Ubisoft is a publicly traded company, you can buy stocks of them. Some of their large minority investors, those hedge funds, they want the company taken private and uh, the ownership changed from the Gulliman brothers that have ran it since you know the Raymond days, since the early days of Ubisoft back in the day. They, on the other hand, are worried that a giant conglomerate like Tencent is about to come in and buy out the company because of the very low stock price. And there are all kinds of allegations circulating in that area, with some commentators going so far as to even speculate that the company may be on the verge of being taken over as part of a bankruptcy proceeding, something I don't think is on the cards quite yet. We'll see in November how badly Assassin's Creed Shadows does. If Assassin's Creed Shadows is a huge flop, that might be a possibility going into next year. In the previous videos I made on this, I was surprised how many people commented that they wanted Ubisoft taken over by somebody else. I think we're quickly narrowing a point where the just disappointment in all of these beloved franchises over the years is kind of built and people are just like, hey, if you're going to do a bad job with them, you know, please, please sell them off to somebody else. Black Flag for me is my favorite game that Ubisoft have ever made. I absolutely adore Black Flag. I think there are a few games in that kind of genre that I would consider replaying over and over again that I think had such an amazing aesthetic from the music, from the the ship, pl uh, the ship play, ship play. Yeah, I guess that's the right word. Um, it was just it was an amazingly unique game. And to see how bad Skull and Bones is by comparison. And that and, and the insulting thing, the insulting thing is that they seem to think they can get away with it and they're not. Uh, look at their share price and however you fall down on the more kind of woke political stuff surrounding stuff like Assassin's Creed Shadows, surrounding their hiring practices and other things. The reality is the games they are making are not good and they're not selling well. And a lot of the franchises that they could license and make money off getting a third-party studio to make more Prince of Persia games, which would be a cash cow, they're not even doing that. And in the end, we'll see whether it's just incompetence or malicious. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe. I This story just keeps on giving, keeps on giving. So I, I guess I'll see you in the next one.